Would you have enjoyed taking a cruise on the Titanic? The legendary ship could well have served for a century and become a magnificent museum exhibit at the port of Southampton if it really had been made unsinkable. Unfortunately, when creating the ship in 1908, chief designer Thomas Andrews didn't have fantastic technologies of the future at his disposal and could not assume that such a thing was even possible. Nowadays, modern scientists are fundamentally changing our understanding of the properties of metal. They've developed a metal that refuses to sink. A piece of this metal literally jumps out of the water like a float. What's most interesting is that any metal can become unsinkable. Chun Lei Guo, the professor of the Institute of Optics at the University of Rochester, and his colleagues have been working towards this result for more than 10 years. During their experiments, they made a number of important technological discoveries, exposing the metal to a femtosecond laser, that is, ultra-short laser pulses. A femtosecond laser pulse acts like a machine gun. It fires at its target with a series of strikes, each lasting for just a femtosecond. Each pulse lasts only about one quadrillionth of a second, but during this short pulse, it reaches a maximum power equivalent to the power of the entire North American power system. A comparison of the femtosecond with an ordinary second shows us that a femtosecond is to one second as one second is to 32 million years. In one femtosecond, light travels a distance of just 0.3 microns. Such an ultra-short laser pulse duration allows you to create a very localized, high-intensity light radiation exposure, making a forceful impact on the target material. As a result, the solid target material is being gradually destroyed. However, during this time, the target material collapses only slightly, and the destruction process itself is actually playing a creative role, building the conditions for the formation of new properties in the irradiated substance. As a result, a lot of micro and nanostructures that change the characteristics of a conventional metal appear on the treated surface. The first thing that Chun Lei Guo created is a completely black metal that fully absorbs any light it's exposed to. So what is it for? Ferrous metal with the property of high optical absorption could maximize the efficiency of various detectors, from space probes to exposure meters, allowing you to capture much more data. In mundane living conditions, the ability to change the color of metal without painting could be used for everyday tasks. For example, replacing black paint on car trim or creating an extravagant, completely black engagement ring for your better half. At the next stage of the experiment, scientists created a metal that can attract or repel water. Says Chun Lei Guo, we're able to change the surface structures of almost any piece of metal so that we can control how liquid responds to it. We can even control the direction in which the liquid flows or whether liquid flows at all. This is unbelievable, but water crawls uphill through a laser-treated metal at a speed of 0.39 inches or one centimeter per second. It's very similar to how a paper towel absorbs spilt milk. The team of scientists didn't stop there and continued to experiment. In addition to the excitement of their initial research success, they also got support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the U.S. Air Force Office of Scientific Research. And this time, at the high-intensity femtosecond laser laboratory, the metal became super hydrophobic, but without any additional coating or chemical treatment. 
Metal with water repellent qualities would help solve a wide range of problems related to rust, icing, and even sanitation in developing countries. How do you like the idea of a public restroom that can stay clean without using water? How about water repellent electronics? The metals developed in laboratory are much slipperier than Teflon, which you probably know is a hydrophobic coating that is often applied to nonstick pans. In order for the water to slide off the Teflon surface, it must be tilted by almost 70 degrees before the water begins to slip. With metal treated with a femtosecond laser, water will slide off even when tilted by less than five degrees. The material is so strongly water repellent, the water actually gets bounced off. Then it lands on the surface again, gets bounced off again, and then it will just roll off from the surface, said Guo, professor of optics at the university's Hajim School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. The whole process takes less than a second. One of the great advantages of this new product is that the structures created by the laser on metals are an integral part of the surface of the material, which means that they are permanent. In fact, the secret of such a surface structure is very simple and widely used in nature when you need to get out of the water dry, literally. For instance, some plants are an example of an ideal water repellent surface known in science as the lotus effect. The microstructure of the leaf surface of this flower contains peculiar spikes several micrometers in size consisting of hydrophobic substances. Thanks to such an amazing surface structure, the water falling on the leaves doesn't spread but sits on the spikes. The contact area of the water with the surface of the leaf is less than 1% of the total area of the drop. As a result, at the slightest tilt, the water rolls off the leaf. If the leaf is forcibly immersed in water, it will quickly re-emerge since air particles stuck between the spikes will lift it back up. About the same result was obtained by Chunlei Guo on a metal plate. Laser manipulations with the structure led to the formation of nanoscale patterns on the surface which trap air and hold it, preventing the metal from sinking. But the researchers found that the effect doesn't last long. Over time, the material lost its air reserves. Then, the spiders came to the rescue. Scientists drew attention to the diving bell spider, also called the water spider, which weaves an underwater domed nest, an underwater air bell of sorts, and fills it with air brought from the surface on its abdomen. In the same way, fire ants falling into water are able to form an air shell. Holding air bubbles on the surface of the body, this helps them to not drown. As a result, the team of scientists created a design in which two metal plates were covered with tiny patterns, just like in the previous experiment, and then they were placed on top of each other with the pattern on the inside. There was enough space between the plates to capture and hold air, which prevented the metal from sinking. Even after spending two months underwater, the structure instantly jumped to the surface as soon as the weight was removed from it. At the same time, the super hydrophobic structure remains afloat even after significant damage. As part of the experiment, scientists made six holes in the plates with a diameter of 0.11 inches, or about 3 millimeters, and one hole with a diameter of 0.24 inches, or 6 millimeters. The plates still continued to float on the surface of the water. Unsinkable metal can push shipbuilding and electronics far ahead into the future. The only problem is that the laser etching process itself takes an extremely long time. 
When Guo's laboratory first demonstrated it, it took an hour to apply a pattern on a surface measuring just one square inch or 6.5 square centimeters. Now, thanks to the use of lasers that are seven times more powerful than the original ones, the laboratory has been able to accelerate the process, making it more suitable for expanding to commercial uses. The good news is that the femtosecond laser, despite all its strength, can be powered from a conventional outlet, which means that when the process improves, its implementation will be quite simple. Perhaps soon humanity will build a truly unsinkable ship that will never suffer the fate of the Titanic. All electronics, such as smartphones and laptops, will cease to be in danger from water. And what are your ideas for the use of non-sinking metal? Did you like the video? Then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And click on the bell to receive notification on the release of new, interesting, mind-blowing videos right away. Until next time.